previously on Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model. The girls had difficulties walking on water, but didn't slip up in the professional catwalk show. There were tears at the photo shoot. Mm -hmm. What happened? I don't know what's happening. And at elimination, it was the end of the runway for Jen. Sad because I'm going to miss it. I'm this time, the girls tell each other what they really think. You will get eaten up alive. Listen, I physically can't help it. The photo shoot is a struggle for photographer Nikki Johnston. Face like a slapped ass, and she just could not get a position. At elimination, the judges run out of patience. Every week there's something the matter with this girl. Who will be eliminated tonight? At elimination, I was in the bottom two. Madeline. Why you not going home? So even if you put me down, I'm still going to fight for it. Competition is definitely getting harder, and everyone's getting stronger. Obviously, I entered this competition because I want to be Britain and Ireland's next top model. I need to really bring it on this week because I don't want to go home. When we arrived back to the house from eliminations, um, we got an L mail. Hi girls, do you think you're newsworthy models? You'll find out tomorrow. Love, L. Mm. So what do you think we're going to be doing? Either reading the news or... Being no. in the news. I, think, I don't think we're going to be in the news. I don't think we're <laughs> that good yet. I'm feeling a bit run down at the moment. Um, the worst type of challenge tomorrow with the sore throat would be a speaking challenge. We do it and I'll be like, Ugh. if my throat better get better. Oh my oh, god, Letitia! Look at that, just <laughs> I think maybe Letitia's looking for a little bit of sympathy. Um, she's the baby of the house. Everyone loves a bit of sympathy, but she's not going to get it, so she might as well stop. <laughs> Uh, so this morning we knew we had a challenge and it was something to do with are we newsworthy models. I wasn't really sure what the challenge was going to be. Good afternoon girls. Hi. I'm Gordon Smart, the showbiz editor of The Sun. To become a celebrated and talked about celebrity supermodel, you need to have a personality and a presence to match your wonderful look. Today, it's all about finding out about your presence and that personality. I want you to write a 60-second piece that you're going to present to camera about your rivals. I was thinking, oh, God, this is just going to bring out all the dirt that everyone's been thinking. I'm looking for something a bit different about you. So you've got an hour to do it, and when you come back, I want to see which one of you I would talk about on the radio or write about in the newspaper. Good luck. Yeah, today was a big deal. It was really, really important for us to impress him. You don't have to write nice things. It's no, not, you can't no, write nice yeah. things. It's not just about being a pretty face. They are ten a penny models. It's about being that little bit different. Hello. Chris the cat? Yes. Gordon. Good nice to see you. you. How are you? I'm good. Brainstorming. It's like being back at school, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, from the beginning, I knew I had an idea what I'm going to write about. OK, well, um, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Even if you say so yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only thing I'm nervous about is being so honest and how they're going to take it, because I know they'll just probably get upset. Today's a chance for me to show that I have got personality, because no one seems to see past the prettiness. So I've written, like, about like the first day and we all meet for yeah. the first time. That's going to bore me to yeah. tears, isn't it? Okay, yeah. If you do that, I'm going to be sat there going, really? I know somebody's going to hate me and I know they already hate me, so I don't really care. I was worried about what they might say because I knew that I would get affected by it if they said something mean. There's another surprise and drop it. I mean, he had had enough. I think the delivery is really important here because if they start stumbling over their words, confidence will disappear and it'll become a shambles. We walked into the room 
We saw the huge screen and we knew that we would be watching each other. I thought that maybe we might have been watching them at eliminations, but I never thought we'd be watching them live. <laughs> I don't really care what they think of me. We're not really friends, are we? We're just in a competition together. Roxy, this is your big moment. Are you ready to go? Yeah. A rundown of the girls. Letitia is Miss Red. She comes across as being very innocent, but she isn't. Ooh. She knows how sexy she is and cannot take criticism. Can she handle the industry? Emma is quite bland, not much to say about her. Even though you can be honest with people, there's not always a need to be harsh. I would be screwing if someone said that about me. Maddie is very clever, but she doesn't care what the girls think of her. I'm just here to win and begin my career. Delivery was poor and she needs to have a lot more presence than that. Roxanne, she went first and she didn't know that we will be watching her. So, yeah, that's just funny. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I literally couldn't believe it. I think people were quite surprised at how honest I was. Is anyone upset by what I said? Sorry. Yeah. I, I think the only reason I would call you bland is because we don't really talk that much, yeah. so. I wasn't upset at all, it's fair enough. Like, honestly, I, I know that I can make it through in this industry. I just question whether you can, only because you, you are so bad at taking criticism. Yeah. And I'm, I'm learning, I told you I'm yeah. learning, so yeah. I'm getting better. <laughs> it's so awkward in there, so awkward. And Letitia was literally about to cry. I looked at her and she was about to burst into tears and I was thinking, Letitia, don't cry on camera, not again. OK, Anita, ready to go. This is your moment of truth. So, the Britain and Ireland Next Top Model girls meet for the first time. It becomes apparent straight away that Madeline has robbed out some of the girls the wrong way. Question is, will she be able to redeem herself and get on the girls' good side? One thing I know for sure, she hasn't got Roxy or Letitia on side. Well, it's quite difficult to digest this at 100 miles an hour, isn't it? <laughs> you would expect Anita to be all about men and her and the scandals, but she just played safe. Back to the old, muddy. She's the easiest target. What we must not forget is that these seven girls have now been together for over a month, and some may not be as rosy and nice as they claim to be. And she's just too nice, but that's not a criticism, really. We've got Rissy Cat. The cat with nine lives. Well, it wasn't really creative because she just stole the phrase from Elle. She's French, she's mad, she knows how to throw a paddy. It's Maddie. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just crazy. It's like, she's crazier than me. Because I spend, you know, time meeting people like, I don't know, the Kate Mosses and the Lara Stones, and they've got a lot about them. This time next week, I'll probably have forgotten all about that. When Gordon told us he wants to hear some gossip, he wants to know what's going on in the house, how the competition is going, I loved it. I remember loads and loads of personality, OK? Welcome to 60 Seconds with Risa Cat, where I deliver to you the best top model gossip in just one minute. It's quite relaxed, okay. smiley, it's good. At last week's elimination, Ella McPherson was not impressed with Lisa's outfit. <laughs> oh, it was too <laughs> casual. Ouch, Lisa, but girl, you need to remember that it is a model competition. I loved Risa Cat's piece today. It is believed that there is a secret thief in a top model house who jeopardizes girls' performance. According to our latest reports, the suspect is tall, young female with big thighs. You. Because I'm the one with the big thighs. <laughs> you bitches! I didn't have anyone in mind whatsoever. I don't even think that there's a thief at all. Tune in next week to find out whose journey of becoming a Britain and Ireland's next top model comes to an end. That is the best so far, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it was great fun, really cool. Feeling confident? I'm uh, nervous a little bit, but still want to do good. That's a silly question, of course you're feeling confident. I've never done that before, but I know I'm not going to be shy. So, three girls drop out of the competition, making my life easier. She's got some attitude, hasn't she? I'm the French chick who gives backhanded compliments because I don't have to be nice all the time. As much as everyone thinks she's very opinionated, I think she holds back on a lot of stuff yeah. she wants to say to us. Be careful around Letitia, because she's a crybaby and can't stand someone not liking her. <laughs> There's going to be trouble upstairs now, isn't there? The crybaby, that's going to hurt. Why does she always do that? We feel like everything has to be sugar-coated for you. Yeah. And it, it doesn't, because at the end of the day, we're all going to get told things. Listen! Hello. Hello. Cry, babe, we're just crying. If you're going to be in this industry, you're going to have to get used to being criticised a lot. No. You'll get eaten up alive. But you can't help it if your body freaking makes you cry. I physically can't help it. My comment was going to touch her, no matter how soft. The thing is, is that you get upset for small things, and that's what she means, that you can't take criticism. Because even now that she said it, like, you can just say, I don't care, I don't like you anyways, but still you get affected. I, I do get upset about things, but normally I'd have my frippin' mum to do.
Do you not understand that? I don't see the point in denying something when you are blatantly a crybaby. I don't want to cry because then like, Madeline's right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I'm cool. I feel like I'm speaking to someone like really fragile, but I don't think she's that fragile. Okay, Letitia, how are you feeling? Hi, I'm okay. There she is. She's beautiful, and it's a shame she about the way she is. I have one word for you, and that is mayhem. This is the life in BINTM. You have Madeline, the marmite of the house. Also, you have Roxy, an amazing mother and a strong woman. Well, just after and all that we said about her, now she said that about me, and I just think it's oh, a we all have had our ups and downs and tears and laughter. All I can say is, it's not the end of mayhem in the top model house. And she will need to be a little bit tougher than that because otherwise you just get walked all over. <laughs> Alright gang. Hi. Hi. Wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> Listen, that can't have been easy for you today. It was a tricky task. One thing you've got to remember as well is about taking criticism, right? You might all listen to each other saying that stuff and get wound up. Not everybody's always going to like you, so get a thick skin. But there was one person who stood out above all the rest, and you've got a fantastic prize lined up. Tomorrow you'll get to spend some time, just you and Elle McPherson, one of the best models in the world. That's an amazing prize. And she's just an incredible woman, and I just literally would love so much to be able to learn more. Well done, Rissa Cat. You're the winner. Oh, thank you. I think everyone is, is jealous, because I'm jealous. We're all jealous. You can't pretend to not be jealous by it. What are we going to talk about? Uh, yeah, yeah. Coming up, a special visitor arrives at the top model house. Hi. But Elle's advice is for Rissa Cat's ears only. Secret. Yeah. Between you and I. <laughs> <laughs> It was a huge day for Risk Cap today. This morning I was really nervous because I knew that it was a day to meet Elle. I've never seen her nervous before. I think she was just worried that, like, because now she's actually going to be speaking to Elle. We got an Elle mail and it said that Elle was on her way and that she would be at the house in an hour. Oh, she's coming in. Yeah. Oh God, we have to clean it. We should just make it look presentable. Okay. Let's go and get ready. Yeah. I'm really nervous. Why? And I wouldn't even expect myself to be nervous. Rissy Cat meeting Elle, like, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, of course it's going to be a positive thing, because Elle's going to get to know her better. Oh, please wear this green dress. <laughs> <laughs> she will think I'm crazy, that's what she will think. She'll be like, whoa, someone's been expecting me. The Rissy Cat's got a really good prize. She's really lucky to be able to spend the day with Elle. God, I'm proper nervous. I hope I come across this myself. Hello. <laughs> when Elle walked through the door, I mean, she just looked stunning. So? Show me around. Oh, oh my God. God. I thought she was just going to come and be like, Rissy, let's go. <gasps> oh, you've done kitchen. the washing up. Look at you. <laughs> come in. some tea or something? Oh, that's you got a good hostess. I would love some tea, actually. Yeah. Look at her looking yeah. after me. Should this go to you guys? <laughs> or is she sucking up? She made it. No. <laughs> come on, show me upstairs. When Elle said she wanted to, you know, see the rooms, uh, I was like, oh my God, I hope our room is clean. There was loads of clothes everywhere, so I started picking them up and throwing them everywhere, and she walked in and caught me. <laughs> I see you shoving! I didn't think we'd get to spend as much time as we actually did with Elle. Nice bathroom, sort of. <laughs> no, just nothing in time, just nothing <laughs> Anyway, it's Rissy's and my time. We're gonna go. Jelly. It's good to see you girls. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We're gonna have a love up. <laughs> Okay, so Rissy, this is you and me time. You can ask me anything you want. 
Hey. Oh, I'm jealous. I don't feel that I've done extremely well in the competition yet, and I just don't really understand what it is exactly I need to work on. You know, there has to be some sort of Power. fire in your belly. That's what people find attractive, and you want to stand out. You want people to walk into a room and say, who's that girl over there? Letitia, we're all crying. Oh, I'm sad too. I want to speak to Elle. It's about women. You want women to look at you and say, I want to be like her, not guys. Yeah. Because it's the women who will prolong your career. Why? Because companies will book you because you've got to speak to women. Yes. Because women buy the products. Yeah. And so many girls get that part wrong. I did too. Secret. Yeah. Between you and I. <laughs> <laughs> so much wisdom. Wow. <laughs> Can I walk for you? Sir? Yeah, why don't you? So that you can tell me. Absolutely, to I'd love to see you walk. Great, thank you. <laughs> I'm in a fashion show, here I am, sitting here. Should have my, like, sunglasses on. <laughs> You've got a great walk. But that energy is what you need to bring to your pictures. So this yeah. could be Every something that could change, like, wrist cats. Absolutely. Great, let's be fair. What type of modeling do you think I'm most suitable for? I think you could do high fashion very well. Hair short, you need to be very trim and, um, and lean for high fashion. When Elle started showing me how to pose, I was trying to act cool. And then move into the shot, so... I can't believe it actually happened to me. Oh, she's getting all these tips, look. Work your position. Practice in front of the mirror. Work your body how you think best. And then do what you want. Don't be afraid to spend a lot of time looking in the mirror. Because you're not looking at Rissy Cat, you're looking at the image of yes. the girl known as Rissy Cat. I will definitely take it on board. It really does make sense. It's amazing. Yeah, give me a yeah. hug. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. We're oh, hugging. No! Oh, no! 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 <laughs> Don't hug! Step away from oh, the God. L. That was absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm a bit speechless to be honest with you because I literally spoke to a legend. Well girls, it's been a fantastic afternoon, gorgeous day. Yeah. So you know what I did? I organized a little treat. My friends from the Aussie Barbecue Company are coming to make you a nice Aussie Barbecue lunch. Nice. Can I give a hug? Yeah. Where's the love? I want the love. Give me the love. Oh. When Elle told us that we were having a barbecue, I was really happy. I think it was really nice to spend time with each other today, especially after yesterday. Even Letitia and Maddie seem to be getting along. It's weird with me and Maddie, we do have um, weird tensions every so often, but. Some days you just need to just relax with the girls and just have a good time. So maybe it's the beginning of a new group, you know. Everyone seems to be really friendly. It's a sexy cheer, cheer. This is oh it's on. Hi girls, I hope you've enjoyed your afternoon off, but now it's time to dive back into the toy box for your next photo shoot. Be ready early tomorrow. Love, Elle. Nice. Dive. Dive. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, but we all need to impress. I need to impress them as well to stay here. Oh, that's great. We have a photo shoot tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Fun. It's going to be a fun. I think this will be a good one. I think that Madeline is under a lot of pressure to perform. Because I've been in the bottom two before, twice now, in a row, it is absolutely vital for me to produce a good picture. I think most of us were quite nervous today because now the competition is so serious we all need to make sure we're, we're delivering good photos. Okay. I'm good. Let's go! We walked into the studio, we had Nicky Johnson standing there. I think the camel's personality is coming out more than yours. I'm furious. Ridiculous! Hi girls, my name is Nikki Johnson and I'm your photographer today. He's a really talented photographer, so I was really looking forward to working with him. The theme of the shoot is broken dolls. I don't want any smiley, cute Barbie looks here. You've got to think Victorian toy box. 
the broken dolls at the bottom, you've got to think arm movements. It's dark, it's moody, it's creepy. And when Nikki um, said that we have to be broken dolls, I was like, yes! something I can do. I was thinking, oh no, this is so not my thing. Now at this stage in the game, you should all be capable of taking direction. So let's get you into hair and makeup and styling and I'll see you shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really excited. I think it'll be a good one. Mm. I was going to do mine. <laughs> Stop it, Emma. You're really freaking me out. There's seven of us and it's just so tight, you can't choose a front runner. Ready, set, go! Pick up the pieces that on it, rip up the place that you want it. Lisa had her makeup done first and she just looked so funny. I thought the makeup artist was having a laugh. Oh, <laughs> look at Lisa! <laughs> <laughs> I think Elle gave me amazing tips, so <laughs> I will try and apply it in today's shoot. <laughs> if you were to see my toy box, I would throw you away straight away. You're straight in the bin, love. With all the props we have on this location, I'm expecting the girls to get the whole vibe instantly. If they just don't get the whole concept and they're not looking broken at all or even doll-like, then they're out. When I walked out to meet Nikki, um, I was just thinking, I've really got to impress him. Do you like the look? I love it. I absolutely love it. It's not something I'd wear every day, but... It looks great. I was obviously really nervous, but I sort of just went for it. Give me slightly bigger eyes. That's nice. Good. Keep that chin up, babe, so you're catching that light. Yeah, think about those knees if they were broken. You know, on a doll, you bend them as much as you like. Yeah. Brilliant, we've got it. Brilliant. Well Thank done. You. Okay, I'm really happy. I was nervous about this one. Oh. No, well done. It was really good. I really liked it, actually. I thought they got some really nice shots of great faces. If the picture comes out well, as well as I feel, then I'm safe. But, again, I just, I don't know. As the first one, I'm quite impressed. I was really excited to meet Nicky Johnston, but I was quite nervous because I knew that he was expecting a lot from us. Hi, Lisa. I love the look. Oh, thank you. Let me see the eyes. Okay. No, you see, you're doing like okay. sexy eyes. You've got to think Dead. completely different from what you've done mm -hmm. before. Good. I know it's hard because you suddenly went into a little. You're dead in this. You died a hundred years ago. I was getting very agitated when he was kind of saying to me, oh yeah, you're too posy. I was like, oh my God, I'm not doing what Nikki Johnston wants me to do. Not easy on there, aren't it? Your arse must be killing you. Yes, that's good. Got it. She needed more direction. She's terribly sweet, but God knows how the hell she's going to survive in this industry. This probably is my toughest shoot to date. Yeah, I found it tough. You're feeling broken and damaged. Fab. I say the same thing twice. I'm awkward when I speak. No, that's not working for me that at all. If you imagine your legs have been snapped. It's all that. Whereas your, yours is more. It might be easier for you to imagine you're on strings and you're being pulled in different directions. No, it's too pretty. It's too glam. How do you think it's feeling, Rox? Um, I know he does like a bit of banter and he's really friendly, but I'm not very talkative. The arms can go higher. Thank you. <laughs> it's better. Better angle, isn't it? Okay. She's just got no personality. Face like slapped ass, and she just could not get a position. I hope I've got a shot, because I don't want to go home. Let's hope to God the next one brings something to the shoot. Maybe just a little bit of personality would be nice. Coming up, at the photo shoot, Rizzy Cat takes her character to the extreme. <laughs> and the judges speak their minds at the elimination. You definitely are a broken doll, but honestly, not in a good way. <laughs> I really make sure that today I gave my very, very best. I want some 
personality from you on this because <laughs> the last two have been devoid of any. And I'm starting to get a bit of rage. Oh. Okay, Maddie, go for it and get in your box. Nice. I was really trying to like be a broken doll and not pretty and do the little. Yeah, how'd you do it? Is that it? Okay, give me some disjointed shapes. Try some without the dodgy mouth. As you flop, you open your eyes. <laughs> this was actually fun and weird and bizarre. So hopefully I'm going to have a really good shot because I really need it. Maddie brought amazing energy to the shoot, but is she the best model here today? I'm really not sure. <laughs> I was feeling great throughout the whole day backstage because I was Annie, you know, I was somewhere else, I was someone else. <laughs> I think it's the wig that sort of made me go completely mental. I'm going to dream about this tonight. Me too. It's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> yes, it will be. Just couldn't behave like myself. So yeah, I creeped out a couple of girls. That's so weird. Yeah, you need to stop that right now, honestly. Jump out of it. I'm prepared to do anything to make sure that I stay in the competition. I'm ready. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Rissy Cat. Sit down, Rissy Cat. Let's see what you've got. I think that's it's just not dramatic enough. Everyone seemed to be quite frightened. But then I went on set and Nikki said, you look too normal. This is an insult. Annie wasn't happy at all. Yes. See, that's better. That's it. Keep those eyes big, Rizzy. Good. Mouth together. Bigger eyes. Yeah. Flop the head. Yeah. Eyes big. Yes, that's good. We've got it. She's really confident when she comes in. Very friendly. And I thought she was fun. I enjoyed the shoot. I really, really enjoyed working with him. So I hope he will choose the picture that will keep me in the competition. When I walked on set, I felt quite confident. I tried not to be boring. <laughs> Hi, Emma. I'm good, and you? That's amazing. I'm Nikki. It was really hard because I was sat down in this big fancy dress, so it was hard to know where to put my legs. Let's see what you've got. Lovely. That's nice with the arm up. Bam. Big eyes, Emma. Go get cosy. That's it. Fabulous. Got it! Yay! I suppose it's hard when you're doing broken arms and broken body parts to find loads of positions that your arms look good in, so it's just about experimenting. I'm sure half of them looked awful, <laughs> but hopefully there was a few that looked good. <laughs> the only fault with her, with Emma, though, is she's so gorgeous, she's so pretty. Trying to make her look harder is probably going to be somebody else's problem. I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to go out there, be confident, because that's what I needed to show the judges that I can do. Hello. Hi, Letitia, how are Hi, you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, are you looking forward to this one? Yeah. You look really great. Forward. Thank you. At first, when I realised that I was actually going to be in the place where all the girls were watching me, I was a bit nervous. That's great, but just bring the legs more to me. That's great, actually. I like that. When we started shooting, I think that I just went into my own zone with just me and Nikki and blocked all the girls off. Fab. That's nice to stretch up. Yeah, I love that. Keep the back really straight. Nice. Oh, you're the best so far. Moving. That's good. He said to Letitia that she was the first girl who was actually moving really well on the set. But she was the last girl, so that means that the rest of us can't have done very well. <laughs> That's lovely. Fabulous. <laughs> well done. Obviously, when you have comments like that, you do feel like you're doing something really good. So for this moment in time, I am really happy. Oh, well done. Thank you so much. You were brilliant. Lovely work you. Really fab, babe. I was thrilled with those. Love it. 
I'm happy because she was brilliant to work with. Because I was the last and because he seemed so happy, I must have done quite well. Overall, I'm extremely happy with how it went. <laughs> I think nine weeks in, there's some here that, that shouldn't be models. And there's definitely a few there that I think have got a brilliant future in modelling. <laughs> There's a few people who, who are concerned. It's hard to know how anyone's done until you see your picture. Did anyone else struggle today? Like, yeah. Did you find it hard? I thought it yeah. was hard. Well, actually, I, I found it easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And Nikki's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm nervous about eliminations because all the other girls were saying Nikki liked what they were doing. Tomorrow's elimination, someone's going home, and then there's just going to be six people left. Hope it's not me. Maybe my last packing in the model house. I just hope that, you know, there's one good photo there that'll get me through eliminations tomorrow. Do you think it's thanks? A tiny bit, because nobody wants to go. The group's getting smaller and smaller, but everyone's stronger and stronger. So it's just really difficult to know exactly who's going to go. It's judgment day for the seven wannabe models who are competing for the ultimate prize. This year, the winner of Britain and Ireland's next top model will begin her career living in style in a luxury suite in London. As well as a holiday to Dubai, courtesy of Atlantis, the palm and tour operator Destinology. A contract with leading agency Models One. A six page spread and the cover of Company Magazine. A contract with Revlon to front their trend campaign in magazines, on TV and in over 1,000 stores across the country. And an international campaign with Miss Selfridge, which will feature in over 250 stores. This week, helping the judges decide the girl's fate, a supermodel who has worked with the world's top fashion designers, including Prada, Versace and Armani, Britain's very own Erin O'Connor. Time to find out who'll be leaving the competition. Girls, welcome back to the Elimination Room, where sadly after today, only six of you will remain. You know our judges? Julian MacDonald, Tyson Beckford, Whitney Port, and our special guest judge, a girl that I have so much respect for. She is a supermodel in her own right, Erin O'Connor. Shall we first start with Rissy Cat? Should we have a look at how well you did as a broken doll? <laughs> That's a broken doll. That does not look like me. <laughs> you really, really got into character well. The one thing I would say to you if I was going to offer up any advice would be to watch your body. Because ultimately, when you're taking a shot, it's about the clothing. And I don't know that that's the most flattering position for that. And I think what was probably hard about this challenge was, in fact, that it wasn't about being beautiful and it wasn't about being the type of like obvious model shot that we've seen this past couple of weeks. So I really like the energy of this shot. Thank you. I think you totally fulfilled the, the spec. Thanks. Next up, we have Emma. I don't know if it's a broken doll, but it's a, it's like a, it's like a pretty ballerina. She's kind of gone. Ooh. <laughs> It's almost like a, kind of a doll in a box, but the thing is, a pretty fabulous doll yeah. in the box. Can I just say one more thing? Golden rule, never show the bottom of your shoes, and it gives you good leg as well when you do that. Okay, Anita. To me, it's such an interesting picture because you're into the character, the direction was well, you, you got the brief. You know, I don't know where you took yourself, but it worked for you. I love it. It looks expensive. <laughs> you know, it's a fabulous way to represent clothing. The dress looks fabulous, the positions of the arms. You are doll-like in real life, and I think you really use that. You've really pulled this off beautifully. Coming up, the judges let loose. Yeah. She's uncomfortable to look yeah. at in that yeah, image, she unfortunately. Really is. And decide who'll be leaving the competition. I had only one place left. <laughs> Roxy, let's have a look at your picture and we can discuss it. Unfortunately, I don't think this is your best picture. You have so much potential. And what's holding you back is you not believing that you have that potential. Mm. That's limp, not broken. 
Mm. They're two different words. And I think you let yourself down there. Next up, I'd really like to see Letitia. You were last stop. Yes. How I was. was that? It was good. And I was in front of the girls when I was doing my photo as well. So I was And so they were all watching you. Yeah. So you were turning it on. Well, yeah. That's tough. <laughs> There's serious hair and makeup going on. Mm -hmm. and I like the curly hair on her. Yeah, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. The face like, is good. The face looks psychotic. possessed. Right. Yeah. Your eyes look <laughs> really, kill really you. so scary. <laughs> Madeline. I would like to see your photograph. You entered this competition and you were like a firework, you know, you were the one girl that <laughs> stood out. But what's happened to you is this, you've turned into a broken doll yourself, but honestly, not in a good way. You've played with your face too much and there's character beautiful, <laughs> which is what this whole brief is. And then there's just looking frightening. Lisa, last but certainly not least. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Um, I don't know. I just the the shoot like was it was so much fun, but um, I was overthinking it, and I just hope it didn't affect my photo. Well, let's have a look at your best shot. But actually, the composition of the body is excellent. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Really like it. You've got the red slippers on, you tap them three times and you end up at the end of the rainbow. But this looks like a collapsed rainbow. We'll see. Not a bad we'll make it through tonight. next week. Hopefully. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Thanks. So girls, it is time for deliberation and it's going to be very difficult for us to decide between us who should be going home based on these photographs. You know inside that I'm a good model and I could be a great model. Her look and her kind of personality, no one will look at her and think, oh, you poor thing. No matter what I would have done, it's either you like it, either you hate it, and I just feel like they hate it. You can't act like, um, yeah, she should just be herself, I don't know, I don't know. Okay guys, time to deliberate. So let's start with Rissy Cat. You look at the picture and you see confidence right yeah. here. Yeah. And yeah. this is by far my favorite picture. She does actually look like a top model. I was really lucky I got to spend an hour with her. And of course, when you have that personal connection with the girls, you warm to them so much right. more. Okay, next up we have Emma. Does she look like a broken doll? Not so much, but... I tell you what, she looks like a model though. Mm. Yeah. She's got a beautiful, yeah. classic yeah. face. Mm. Okay, let's move on and have a look at Anita. The way her features actually lie, I think she looks like an actress. I think this looks like a very inspiring interpretation of a Charles Dickens novel. It's weird, it's airy, yeah. it's mysterious, and you know what, it's beautiful. Let's have a look at Letitia now. This photo, it, it doesn't necessarily work for me. Yeah. She's uncomfortable to look yeah. at in that yeah, image, she unfortunately. Really is. She really is. Yes. But she doesn't assume other characters very well. No. She's very good at sexy, but other things, no. Let's have a look at Roxy. Every week there's something the matter with this girl. Mm. And also, I would worry about her because that wouldn't cut it in the industry. She's got this great face, but she can't stay oh. if she can't assume it. Maddie. Oh. This is a shoot where she should have been harder, mm. more, more scarier. I don't mind the, the lip thing that she's done. I applaud her for yeah. having the balls to do it. But I do wonder if she'd really be able to make it in the industry. Mm. And let's have a look at Lisa. It's not a great photo. Her energy isn't great. She really looks like she's in fancy dress. If the hair and the makeup swallow her up, that's something she needs to personally learn how to manage. Yeah. We have a really difficult decision today to decide who will be leaving. This is tough this week. Well, I have seven beautiful models before me. But unfortunately, I have only six photographs in my hand. And as you know, these six photographs represent the girls who are still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model. Now, the first name of the girl I'm going to call also gets picture of the week. And that goes to 
Risi Gat. Really great picture, Risi. We loved your broken doll. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank well you. Done. Thank Good you. girl. Anita. Spooky and beautiful. Thank you. Did you see it walking? Oh, first one. Oh, that's beautiful. Emma, it's a completely different side of you. Emma. Well done. Leticia. Jeez. Sigh of relief. Hey, baby. Are you all right? Yeah. It's just frustrating when Nikki um, said that he was so happy with me and then... Yeah, but it doesn't matter because you're through. Like, you've got another chance to play with her. This is why I never let my hopes get up. Lisa. Thank you. Not your best shot, but no. a good try. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. The two of them look absolutely sick. Wow, this is never very easy. Will Roxy and Maddie please step forward? Really difficult to see you both here because you are two fabulous girls. And you're both here for the same reason. It's because you're sort of defeated somehow and it shows in your pictures and we as a panel of judges do not want to see either of you go because you're great girls but i have only one place left and we need to give it to the girl that we think is still capable of winning this competition so who stays Thank you. Congratulations. Thank well done. You. Thank you. Hug. This is just the beginning for me. I'm so happy I was actually part of even a tiny bit of this experience because it's so amazing. Next time, the competition intensifies when Elle delivers some important news. I want to give you two photo shoots. Back-to-back -back photo shoots test the model's nerves. <laughs> and relationships are strained. Good, either do it properly or don't do it at all. You know these girls don't care about you, her especially. <laughs> If you think you've got what it takes to become Britain and Ireland's next top model, now's your chance. The casting team are looking for next season's hottest runway hopefuls. So head to sky.com slash BINTM for terms and conditions and to apply. But the hunt for the next big designer is already underway. And pop star KTB is ready to stitch them up tomorrow night in all new style to rock at nine.